Hello friends, most welcome to my YouTube channel and the crash course of psycholinguistics. In this video, we will discuss about the nativist theory of language acquisition. In the previous videos, we discussed about the behaviorist and cognitivist theory of language acquisition. In the next video, we will discuss about the interactionist theory of language acquisition. So if you have not yet subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel. I would be much thankful. So without wasting any further time, let's start our discussion on the nativist theory of language acquisition. This theory was proposed by Noam Chomsky in 1957. First of all, we will discuss its definition, then we will discuss its main points, then we will discuss its supportive studies, and at the end we will discuss some of the limitations of this theory. Okay, the main statement of the theory is that at birth there is a special and net faculty contained in the brain for the acquisition of language. Okay, the main points of the theory. Noam Chomsky presented this theory as a criticism of the behaviorist theory of language acquisition. The language acquisition process is biologically determined according to and it is theory. Human species have evolved a brain whose neural circuits contains a special language acquisition device. LAD. So what is LAD? LAD. According to nativist theory, LAD is located somewhere in the brain. It contains universal grammar, the basic linguistic principles common to all languages. Whenever a child hears speech, LED is triggered to interpret the speech according to the principles it already contains. Okay, so here are the supportive studies of the Chomsky's theory of language acquisition. According to human brain anatomy, there is Broca's area in the brain responsible for speech production and Wernick area in the brain responsible for speech comprehension. And any damage to these areas can cause language disorders, language abnormalities. According to Slobin, unlike animals, humans have evolved a special vocal tract that allows a precise uh, production of speech sounds. It means that human anatomy is adapted to speech production. Okay, so here are some of the limitations of the Annette's theory of language acquisition. Actually, Chomsky's work on language acquisition is theoretical because he didn't study the real children. This theory takes no account of the interaction between children and their caregivers. It only relies on children being exposed to language. Okay, the case of Jim. In 1977, Bart and Sox presented a case of a child named Jim, the hearing son, son of uh, deaf parents. His parents, who used sign language, wanted their son to develop normal oral and verbal language. So Jim used to watch TV and listen to radio all day, but in spite of that, his language acquisition progress was limited. So it means that simple exposure to language is not enough and frequent interaction is essential. So this was all about the nativist theory of language acquisition. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. Take care.